everybody. Welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. And I'm Cardwell. And we're back today to showcase another new ruler from the new set of uh, Revolution, which is Typhon, our boy, the big dragon of anger in a hundred cards and, you know, yeah, every card possible. We had to do it, question mark. You're going to get there and you're going to play it and you might as well. Yeah. Um, but before we get into it guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. Link is down below. Go check it out. It takes just a dollar to give us some love and support. And in our Patreon, you'll get access to our Discord, you'll get access to our videos early, and a whole bunch of other cool perks that we have in there. So go check it out. And just to also remind you that we do actually have a Force of Will deck builder app called FOW Grimoire. It's on Android and uh, Apple. And with that, you can go ahead and make the list like we're making today. And go ahead and send it to us and your friends and all that fun stuff. So with that, we're gonna delve into Typhon's Revelations, which is his like, just what he does. Yeah. Like he's all about like making all the machines and just showing things. Uh, the deck is super funny. It's super weird. It is one of the local decks here. Uh, one of our people is super about it. Um, I honestly thought Typhon was kind of a meme deck and I don't know, I still don't know where I feel about him. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but for y'all's information, this is technically a New Frontiers version of it, so it is with all the crazy band cards that yeah. are together still. So know that when you're watching this one, it is New Frontiers. It is not the same as it will be in Wanderer because half these cards won't be in Wanderer. Yeah, we want to see how broken they are at yeah, first. Yeah, and know? It, it's pretty dumb. So Typhon, for those that don't know who he is, he is the infinite monster from the new set. He is a beast god machine. Uh, he is one of each color, and he's the villains. You cannot play Tails. Uh, you cannot have non-darkness cards in your deck, and you have no maximum deck size, but you must have at least 100 cards in your deck. Uh, and then if you would set your starting life, set it to X100 life instead, where X is the number of cards in your deck up to 200. Ridiculous. And then Revolution Order is zero, Force Command Infinity. So it's pretty dumb just to be like, hey, I started at 100 life, and you can't do anything. Yeah, what, what's going to happen? Uh, you can technically go to 200. I would recommend not, because <laughs> it is very difficult to A, shuffle 200 cards, B, keep track of 200 cards, and C, have any kind of consistency yeah, in 200 cards. All. 100's already a lot, but it is what it is. Uh, his Force Command Infinity, when you Judgment, he turns into Order of Infinity. Uh, enter, you may reveal a machine you own from outside the game and keep it revealed until the end of the game. You may call stones while well, this is ordered and rested, so forth, so on. Um, but overall, he's a super fun ruler. He's weird. He just plays black cards and like weird cards. Yep, weird cards that, you know, have his name in them and there's a lot of them. So mm -hmm. we'll get to it. The first one, of course, is Typhon's Antibodies. It's a one darkness resonator. He's a dragon machine, two, two. But you may have any number of copies in the card in the deck. So that helps out pad out the deck for a hundred. Swiftness, precision, flying, pierce, anything you ever wanted. This card cannot attack your opponent as long as they control a J resonator though. This uh, card gains plus two, plus two for each card named Typhon's antibodies you control in public zones and or revealed outside a game. And then Force Residence Infinity, because of course you're going to have it. When this card becomes revealed from outside the game, draw a card. It just helps you just, you know, buff up your things and draw a card. Why not? Yeah. It's we don't good. have any in the sideboard because there's better things to reveal. Yeah. But you just play this dude and you're like, cool, I'm going to, you know, you get have a big dude. And the fact that they have precision allows you to kill whatever you need. Yeah, like, you, sure, you can't attack them if they have a dude, but you kill their dudes. Yeah, you kill their J Resonator, which makes you attack them. Yeah. Simple as that. Uh, next, we got Typhon Cells, which is one black machine. He's a 4 4. Discard this card, produce a black, spin this only to play machines. So good. Uh, Force Resonance Infinity, when this card becomes revealed from outside the game, draw X cards for X's number cards named Typhon Cells. You control in public zones and own revealed outside the game. So, public zones, graveyard, in play. Removed from the game. Yep. Those are all public zones because everybody can see them. So make sure you pay attention to that. Of course, we have Dracula, Reborn Vampire. So one darkness. Flying, he has barrier white, gets plus, plus, plus one, plus one counters on each, uh, on this card and cease to exist. If you put it in the graveyard, it's still there. But when this card is put in the graveyard from the field at the next of turn, put this card in the field with two additional one, one counters on it. So it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Now, with the Jewel of Darkness, it is a one darkness, one darkness and six, but it has remnant. So you play in the graveyard, you may pay one uh, colorless less to play this card from your graveyard for each plus one, plus one counter on it. Destroy all J, res J resonators you control. So if somehow your opponent gets out of hand, this is in the graveyard, it's gonna help you just reset the board. Yeah, otherwise he's just a big beater. Yeah, that's, that's it. Cause this deck's honestly gonna do one or two things a turn and then just have to deal with stuff. 
and you have the life to take the damage that you're going to take because you started at 100 and you yeah. can, there's a way to reset it, which is kind of dumb. Uh, next is Echidna, the mechanized monster. It is one black for a 4-4 machine. Uh, it's a villain's quick cast in Bane, yes. and it has revolution. It gets plus 6, plus 6, and enter. You may reveal up to two machines you own from outside the game and keep them revealed until the end of the game. Ridiculous. This is one of the like linchpin cards of the deck and probably one of the best cards you want to reveal on turn one. Yeah. And we'll get to that when we get to it, but that is what you want to do on turn one. Of course, we have one of the best arts in the game. It's the Witch of the Fallen Kingdom. It's a one darkness, quick cast. It's a 4-4, four, four, and your opponent cannot search their deck. Extremely strong. And if need be, you have still five. You may reveal a witch from outside the game and put it in the field. But really, you're just like, yeah, don't search your deck. Yes, yeah. we have the seal, so you can use the witches, but it's not the major thing. You mainly want to be like, hey, don't search your deck. Because yeah. Zeus is a card right now, and he searches his deck, and this just says no. Yeah. Uh, next is our girl Lumia, the Princess of Rebirth and slash Wings of Light and Darkness. It is uh, a one white for Lumia. Quick cast, enter, you gain life equal to the amount of life you lost in any way. Uh, and then uh, Wings of Light and Darkness is one black. Quick cast, remove target resonate with total cost two or less from the game. If this card is awakened, put this put Lumia into play on the field instead. And then Awakening is one white. So Simple as that. Pay two mana, you get to kill a dude, bring her into play, and gain a life you lost this turn. Yeah. Which is pretty nuts because you're like, cool, I'll take all your damage, gain it all back. And of Thanks. course, this is still counted as a darkness color because it's split half in the color. So you're able to play it, which is awesome. Spirit of K is one of my new favorite cards of this set. It's a one darkness, one one. Enter, put X one one counters on this card and your opponent loses X uh, 100 life where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. You got 100 to go through, so I'm sure you can get there. And re remove a 1-1 one, one counter from this card and target J Resonator gains minus 200, minus 200 until end of turn. Yeah, and so you're good. also putting a card in the graveyard probably every turn because of another card we're going to get to that yep. you play a lot of. So, machine gun effect. Yeah. Uh, next we have Suya, the Cursed Spawn of the Star. He is one black for a 4-4. Enter, target player banishes a non magic stone, non general entity. Put X-1-1 one, one counters on this card where X is the total cost of the entity banished this way. You may pay a black bus to play cards named Curse of Ragnarok. And that is Curse of Ragnarok, which is one, two black, remnant, look at your opponent's hand, choose a card, they remove that card from the game. So if you have a Suyin play, the rest of them cost one less, so they're one mana to reveal cards and make them discard them. Uh, yeah. More or less, you're just playing his to kill whatever you need to kill and get stuff out of your way. Because uh, we'll, we'll tell you a way, but they might not have a hand very mm -hmm. early on. But we have Lucifer, defeated one wing. It is one darkness, fallen angel. It's a 4-4 four, four, with quick cast flying. Enter, your opponent loses 500, you gain 500. Sounds good. When this card is destroyed, your opponent discards a card. And with the revolution, enter, destroy target J Resonator your opponent controls, and this card. So if you need to clear the way for your antibodies, this is an easy way to do it. Mm -hmm. It's super strong. And with a quick cast, it's amazing. Uh, Dark Alice of Mott, she is a white and a black for a 6-6 six, six villain. Uh, you can play this if in Alice, but that's not really a thing that matters yeah, for us. Yeah. Well, she's already a villain. Uh, enter. You look at your opponent's hand, choose a resonated card from among it, remove it from the game. And then Revolution, if they if you don't control a Darkness Regalia, put a Darkness Regalia into the play. Then look at your opponent's hand, choose a resonator, a non-resonator card from them and remove it from the game. And Darkness Regalia, you have tap, gain, top, target J resonator gets minus six, minus six. Yes. Dead. So she's help, helpful to help remove cards out of their hand on top of whatever you do with your reveal on Revolution, and then you get free regalias. Which just immediately kills something, for sure. Uh, Schemal, Giant of Distrust. It's a 1 Darkness, 3 Giant. It's a 13-13. Uh, villains, you may pay 3 less to play this card if your J Ruler you controlled was destroyed this turn, which will probably definitely happen. And when this card is destroyed, J Resonators gain minus 1,000, minus 1,000 to in a turn. With the Revolution, enter. Your opponent discards 2 cards. Really good. I mm -hmm. like this card a lot. Yeah, and there is a way to search him up, which is pretty nutty, just to be like, hey, cool, kill whatever I need to kill. He's a 13-13 for four or one. What can you do? Next, we have Themis, the mechanized god of law. He is yeah, a black yeah. and three for an 8-8 eight, eight god machine. He is quick cast. Uh, as you play this card, you may pay five or a thousand life. This card costs one less for each 500 life you pay this way. And then revolution, cards in your opponent's hand, in your, in your opponent's deck, lose all races. And then enter your opponent loses X life or X is the total amount of life you paid this turn. So know that this is one of the banned cards with Typhon in Wanderer, yep. but it is 
in Wander that it's banned. It's not a new frontier, so we're playing with the new frontiers ruling of it's still there. So we're going to see how much ridiculousness it gets to be. Yeah. And you have that life to just throw away anyway. Yeah. You have so much life to not care about. So you're just like, I don't really care. No, I don't care. It's dead. And the next one is Call of Darkness. It's a one darkness chant. You may search your deck with a card with villains, reveal it, and put it in your hand. And if you do, shuffle your deck. Hey! That's really all you're doing because the other two are for Loki and yeah, Odin. And we're not playing this. But as you've seen, we have a lot of villains that are really strong to get. So you're just like, go get Schmel, go get Themis, go get whoever I want because yep. I can. And when you reveal it, hey, why not? It does better things. Uh, Dante enters the Game of Gods. It is one black. And choose one, target J Resident, it gets plus four, plus four, flying, pierce, drain, and bane. Or pay 5, 10, or 15 life, draw a card for each 500 life paid this way. You have a lot of life. Might as well draw three, you know Just what I mean? Draw things, exactly. The next one, of course, is Phantasmal Scarlet. It's a one darkness chant. Uh, tar target J Re Resonator loses all abilities until new turn, then destroy it. That's all you need. Simple yep. as that. It is, a, it is a, on your turn, but who cares? It's a one mana kill a dude. Exactly. That's all you need. And then finally, we have Typhon's Blood, which is two black. You may have any number of copies of this card in your deck. You may pay only one of these per turn. Draw a card, then produce a black. If there are six or more cards named Typhon's Blood in your graveyard, draw two, then produce two black. Force Resonance Infinity, this card costs two black less to play as long as you're playing Typhon. So, literally turn one, <laughs> you play this first. Yeah. And then you get free not? mana, and you're like, cool, I get to uh, revolution Echidna and just be dumb. Yeah. It, it does a whole bunch of stuff. This is one of the setup cards that, like I said, you're going to probably want to play with one of these at once per turn because you get, there's like 34 of them in the deck or something like that. It's a ridiculous amount of them in the deck. Yes. And this fills up your graveyard at once, one card a turn. So Spirit of Decay late game is just like, lose 34. Because it can. That. Yeah, because it can. And there's, it's per turn, so you know, so it's so good. Yeah, and then card you're drawing two, strong. produce two for free. It's insane of what you can really do. Uh, the magic stones are really simple. We're playing Darkness Magic Stone. We're playing his stone, which is Magic Stone of Infinity. Uh, Force Resonance Infinity, produce a black. For a Union 7 machine is tap produce two black, which is Union 7 as long as you have seven machines revealed and or in any public zone as long as you have seven different names. Yep. So revealed in play in the graveyard, so for so on. And then we have Magic Stone of the Sixth Sage, which is Recover a Ruler, produce a one colorless, or produce one will of any attribute, only equal to your J Ruler. So we're still in playing New Frontiers, so we're still going to play that because it's literally the best thing you can do. For sure. Um, and with this deck, this deck actually has a sideboard, but it is not to sideboard against your opponent. It's to play the cards you reveal from outside the game. Yep. Um, because cards like that refer to that are now only to your sideboard per the last CR rulings. So we have a whole lot of cards that get revealed in your sideboard that do things. Yeah, you can't just have literally another deck on yep. the side. So we're gonna go through those, which the first one we have is Arena Expansion Mount Othrys. It is two black, darkness chance in your hand, you have quick cast. Whenever a non-token machine resonating your controls put into a graveyard from the field, put a 4-4 dude into play. Machine J resonates, get plus two, plus two, and then force infinity, this has eternal. When this card becomes revealed from outside the game, put it into the field. So good. So, so you reveal this early and you're just like, cool, get a free dude that, or get a free six, enchantment six. that makes all my dudes plus two, plus two. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then if they die, they're replaced immediately by something else. Yeah, and then when you throw your antibodies at something, they're already bigger because they're a machine, and when they die, you get more machines. Yep. So you're just winning all together. This one, uh, Dry Wing, Mechanized, Wind of Destruction, two green and a one, Dragon Machine, Flying Villains, A8. Enter, recover all magic stones you control, the rest of the magic stones your opponent controls. When this card becomes revealed outside the game, which is what you want to do, recover target magic stone you control. Your opponent can only produce one will by playing activated abilities of magic stones they control as long as the card is revealed outside the game. There's a big decisive schism right now in the uh, Force of Will community. We think it should affect Energize, because that's what it says, literally. Yeah, but, but currently it does not, so know that. But... Regardless, Drywing is a card that you're going to have to be able to deal with. Whether you put it in the graveyard or something, it is a card that's going to be everywhere because there's another card that is not in this deck but allows you to reveal it in other decks. Yeah. So any deck can run that as a sideboard card and just be like, hey, don't make other mana. Yep. And Sorry. You just you have to be able to answer it. Uh, next is Einsberg, the Mechanized Invasion Leader. <clears throat> he is three blue and one for a 10-10. Uh, you may pay this card from outside the game as long as it's revealed by playing two black rather than pay this card's cost. 
Interior gain control of target non magic stone, non J resonator entity your opponent controls as long as this is in the field. And then Revolution has flying. This card gains plus X plus X and J resonators your opponent control get minus X minus X, where X is the number of different names among machines you control in public zones and machines you own revealed outside the game. So good. So this is one of those cards that's really good outside the game to reveal because you can play it and you can still revolution it while you're playing it from outside the game. So you're like, cool, revolution this dude. He gains flying and kill your board and I steal your thing. And swing. And then you're dead. Dude is pretty nuts because he just helps you do stuff. And he's also just a different machine. Yeah, for sure. The next one, of course, is Mechanize Fenrir. It's a one blue and one. It's a 6-6 six, six. villains. When this card is destroyed, you may search your deck for a machine, reveal it, and put it in your hand. And if you do, let's shuffle your deck, which also triggers a lot of things. You may pay this card from outside the game as long as it's revealed by paying one black rather than paying its cost. Amazing. With the revolution, non-machine J resonators, your opponent control loses all abilities. What? <laughs> your opponent does nothing. Yeah, Thanks. so it's a missile time that can be played from outside the game, which is kind of dumb. Yes. Really, really good if you're playing villains to have it in the sideboard just so you can be like, hey, cool. So Here's another missile time. Turn one, play this, <clears throat> enjoy. I mean, I wouldn't do turn one, but yeah. yeah, yeah, get, yeah. It, For... get it and then be like, your dudes don't have abilities. Yeah, good luck. Oh. Uh, next, we do have a couple of witches for the witch. The first one we have is the Witch of the Quench Fire. He's one red. Four, four, quick cast. Prevent all damage will be dealt by fire chance and abilities your opponent controls. So you don't want to kill your stuff, so that just makes it not happen. Next one, of course, is just uh, Typhon Cells, because you might as well need it, re reveal it. Uh, you know what it does. Discard this card, produce a blue, but if it's revealed, draw X cards where X is a combined number of Typhon Cells you control in public zones. So it all helps from there. Mm -hmm. Next is Typhon's Heart. It is uh, four black. It is the reset mode slash uh, the boss fight part two. Yeah. Like, you know, when boss evolves into, you know, stage two. Yeah. Uh, it is a 0 4000. It's a villains. You cannot lose the game. When this card is, leaves the field, you lose the game. And then Force Resonance Infinity. When this card becomes revealed from outside the game, your life becomes your starting life again. Put this card into the field, then discard your hand and draw, draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. This card is insanely good <laughs> because it does... It resets you, but it does make you have a way to lose. So know that. It's still dangerous because it, it is a resonator, so it can be killed. Right. Yes. It's just, you gotta make sure you can protect it, but you also get to draw five new cards to protect it. And hopefully win that turn. Like it's yeah. really just to reset you to hopefully get you to the finish line. Typhon's Wave of Terror it is one darkness machine. Your opponent discards X cards where X is a combined uh, number of cards with this name controlled in public zones. So, or revealed, it's amazing. So four stars in its infinity. When this card becomes revealed from outside the game, you do the same thing. Your opponent discards X cards. So your opponent can have zero cards very quickly. <clears throat> yeah, this is the other card that's banned in this deck format in Wanderer. So Makes and it sense. got banned for good reason because they didn't want people to be like, hey, you have no cards on turn one. Essentially getting pants because you're just like, hey, no, lose all your cards. Yeah, reveal it. Because it, it. Um. if you hit Echidna on turn one, you reveal two cards. And then Typhon triggers, you reveal a third card. You can reveal all three of these and make your opponent discard at least six cards. Yeah. You only start with five, so you're at zero cards in hand on turn one, and I still have a 10-10 in play. So it, there's good reason why they <laughs> went with that ban thing, but we wanted to see what it can do in New Frontiers, and it's pretty good. Yeah. It's still got consistent issues because you're playing 100 cards, thank God, because otherwise it'd be too strong. But it is pretty fun, and it's still relatively simple to do. It's still gross, yeah. Uh, next, we have Witch with a Pointy Hat. It is one green for a 4-4 four, four quick cast. Prevent all damage will be dealt by target entity until the end of turn. And a seal 4, cancel target activator automatic ability your opponent controls. So, it's a counter spell, and it helps you just get there for free if you need it. Yep. Now, this one is Zao Hunter, Mechanized Round Table Destroyer. Uh, it's a 1 blue 7, 10, 10 flying. You may pay 1 bless... One bless, one less to play this card for each different machines you own outside the game that they're revealed, so that's easy enough. You may play this card from outside the game as long as the current revealed by a darkness and seven instead of a blue. But revolution, enter, put all non magic stone non J ruler entities your opponent controls at the bottom of the owner's deck in any order. So it just gets rid of everything. Yeah, he's a game reset for your opponent, which yep. is pretty gross. Oh, you're out of hand? Let me just board reset because I have seven things revealed. So yeah. thanks. Bap. And even even if he doesn't get to play for one mana, he makes himself cost less for each different machine name. 
it's at least going to be like three to four. Yeah. And it's just like, cool, this dude costs three mana. I'll pay three mana to bounce your entire board and win. Yep. And as long as Inferno's not played, then you can pretty much uh, stall until turn four or five. Mm -hmm. At least. Yeah, I have played against this deck, and it was pretty interesting. Our game would have definitely gone to time because I was playing Athenia and I was hard to kill myself. Um, but the deck is super fun. It does a whole lot of weird stuff. If they get to do the whole Typhon's Wave of Terror on turn one and essentially pants you, you kind of lose because, you know, you have no cards in hand and they still have four. So it is kind of rough, but otherwise it's a pretty fair game. Um, it's all about that opening hand. Yeah, it, it really, really is about the opening hand. And if you're playing Typhon, you want to try to get to that as quickly as possible in New Frontiers only because it's the only time you can play that shenanigans. Yeah. Um, but it is really, really fun. And Typhon's antibodies do a whole lot of work in this deck. They're just like, hey, cool, we're big. And okay. we're going to kill whatever we want because just we can't. Keep doing it bigger and bigger. But overall, the deck is super fun. The deck list will be down below, guys. Check it out and let us know what you think about it down in the comments. And we'll see you all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Make sure you hit that like button, guys, and subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure you hit that bell to stay up to date on any of the notifications for our channel. And lastly, make sure you give us all the comments down below. We'll make sure we get them. And just to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to subscribe. But for those mythic and above patrons, we like to give you a super thanks. And that would be Ryan. And we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. We love you.